What's going on guys, Nandimo Guy back again with another Hackers Inspired video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Dave Murphy's jacket, give you a little bit of information and we're also going to try to create a decent replica. Let's see what we can do. So let's first talk a little bit about how I came across finding the jacket from the movie. In the Blu-ray version of the DVD, there's actually an interview with Roger K. Burton, who was the costume designer for the film. In that interview, he mentioned that he came across some motorcycle jackets, and he mentioned that they were from like the 70s. So that gave me a pretty good idea of where to start. I jumped into Google, Google image search, started looking for vintage leather jackets, vintage motorcycle jackets things like that to try to see what I can find. I was particularly looking at the zipper pattern uh, on the jacket itself. During my research and just looking around, I found out that the style of jacket was uh, commonly known as what's called a cafe racer jacket. That really kind of got me going in the right direction. The real jacket comes from a company called TT Leathers. Both Dave Murphy and Kate Libby's jackets from the movie come from TT Leathers. So all that put aside, originally uh, I thought I had found the jacket. I assumed that this jacket was modified for the movie and I'm about to show you why. Here is the same jacket Johnny Lee Miller's character wore in the movie. And this is the jacket that I first purchased. Obviously on the right you have the TT Leathers. On the left this is from a company called Hein Gericke considerably cheaper and easier to find jacket. Now this jacket actually comes in two different styles. This style, which I don't see as often, which has the, the silver zippers. However, they also made one for Harley Davidson. The difference being that all of the zippers are black. Zipper patterns, almost identical. You have a front belt closure and the chest itself actually has two different main zips. No pads on the shoulders and the collar is, uh, is different. Um, but I actually kind of like and prefer the inside of the Hein Gericke jacket. It has sort of like a quilted pattern um, or padding rather on the inside whereas the uh, the TT Leathers does not. Um, and it should be obvious at this point why I thought I had the right jacket when in reality it is just extremely similar to the TT Leathers. And to be quite honest, I don't know which one came out first. So who's copying who, I really don't know. Now the thing about the English jackets, if you find the original jacket from the TT Leathers company, the sizing is going to be small. However, for the one that we're gonna reproduce, um, particularly the Harley Davidson version, you're gonna find them in a much wider range of sizes. So. Well, you can find the TT Leather one if you look long enough. You might not be able to find it in the right size. In addition, it's going to be uh, quite a bit more expensive. Obviously, very, very similar jackets. And as such, I think we can get away with doing a, a quick modification to this one and uh, have it be fairly faithful. We're just going to try to uh, do some stitching and we're going to try some vinyl spray on uh, on the shoulders now the actual jacket these shoulders in the film they seem uh, very gray they're actually sort of a light blue color and maybe that's coming across uh, in the camera here it's, it's sort of like a uh, like a gunship gray um, I can't find anything in in this same type of color so we are just gonna use gray for the shoulders so we're gonna start by spraying this collar since it's essentially just a waist piece and, uh, and see how it looks. Now, the painted piece is fairly resistant to abrasion. Uh, scratching will remove it, but it does take a, a little bit of work. Uh, the vinyl spray also doesn't crack when being bent and handled, which is a really good thing. Uh, and 
Honestly, the color isn't half bad as well. You know, as I've been sitting here looking at this, I'm thinking what I might do, I might take the entire collar off and then just switch the inside to the outside. That way I can take the snap off and the hole that would be there will be on the inside of the jacket so it won't be as noticeable. I'm gonna pop all these stitches and that's a pretty easy stitch to redo as it's just top stitch directly on them and you can see the bare edge of the leather so there's no folding down or anything like that taking place. It should be really easy to do. So here's our collar. But now what we can do is just flip it around and make that the outside so that uh, we don't have to worry about these snaps being visible anymore. This is more the kind of tip we're looking for, just a taper. And that's gonna be perfect. You literally just use the drill bit, it knocks that edge off and you can pull them apart. And there's the little hole. See, it's gonna be barely noticeable. I'm not even worried about it because it is so cleanly cut, it's not likely to start to fray. Um, but now that'll be on the inside of the jacket. We'll just do the same thing to this guy. All right, guys, I ended up going with the, uh, just hand stitching it. It's actually good because anybody can hand stitch, you just need some thread and a few needles. I use what's called a saddle stitch and I'm actually pretty pleased with my stitching. Anybody can do it. There's a lot of good uh, demonstrations on YouTube of how to do a saddle stitch. So as you can see, we now have the turned down collar instead of the straight collar that was here. Uh, we also sewed up around the edges where all the little loops used to be. So it, it more closely resembles the actual jacket but I took just a ballpoint pen and drew on the elbow caps where I want to put in the, uh, the stitches here um, I, the reason I use ballpoint pen if I mess up I can take just uh, alcohol and a cotton swab and you can actually like erase it um, I did the same thing up on the shoulders where I'm going to do the stitches in the shoulders and then what I do is I turn the arm inside out and I pop the stitches uh, along the seam and I, I sew a little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It keeps this, this from opening further. I sew that on, on both ends. Um, and then uh, painfully and slowly, I run stitches through the, the leather jacket. So what we end up with is the elbow cap looking like that. Now they're not as pronounced as they are in the real jacket, but I think they get the point across quite honestly with the amount of time it took to do this. Unless somebody's really got a whole lot of time on their hands and they want a jacket like the real one and are not willing to wait for the real one, <laughs> then go ahead and do this. Otherwise, I would just say just like mask the little circles and then spray it. A lot of work for ultimately what, uh, what relates to very, very little. It's time to move on to the shoulders. We're essentially going to be doing the exact same thing that we did on the elbows. We'll turn it inside out, pop some stitches, get access to this panel, and stitch it with gray stitches. Let's go ahead and start uh, working on some hardware. So a couple more parts here. Um, 
I got a heavy duty snap kit. Um, as you can see, uh, it's almost exactly the, the right size. Uh, it's gonna be perfect. Um, we also picked up a couple D-rings for up here for two bucks. And guys, here is the finished product. Uh, I must say I am uh, I'm rather pleased with how everything came out. The color on the shoulders is quite nice. Um, this, the stitching looks good. I'm just overall very, very pleased. Now the one thing I am still hemming and hawing about is whether or not to do the buckles on the side. The reason I decided not to is I wanted to do as much as I could with the original leather from the jacket, given that this is an aged jacket. As a result, I think this is probably where this is going to stop, uh, at the very least in terms of the video. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this, uh, maybe got something out of it, and maybe for some of you hardcore hacker fans that just can't wait around to find one of the original jackets, this might be an option for you. So, Thanks again, we've got more coming along including remakes of some of the original computers from the movie. So keep an eye on the channel, guys. Nandemo guy.